Hey, so this is going to be a little bit of an explanation on this rock beetle crinal out of brown trick here. Um, I know Myth already made a guide on this. Uh, I do it a little bit differently, and I want to try and touch on some of the things that are important here that are, uh, you know, common ways to fail it. So I'm going to start by just doing it once, um, and then I'll kind of break it down in slow motion and then do it again, and hopefully that'll help bring things together here. So that's how you do it. Um, it's a little confusing to watch at full speed. So basically, I walk against this post, and then when the beetle sits back down, turns into a rock, you want to start holding down right. We're just going to frame advance here. Uh, important to watch are these two values in the top left corner here. So you've got your Y position and uh, the other one that's called push. Um, that's some sort of counter that counts how long Link is um, walking against a pushable object goes from 0 to 6, and when it hits 6 is when Link will start his actual pushing animation. Uh, in order for the trick to work, you need that value to be at either 5 or 6 uh, to be able to have the beetle push you off in the right way. Um, <laughs> so, generally you want to get it to 6 because there's no visual cue for when you're at 5, there is for when you're at 6, but um, if you were to stop a frame early it would be fine as well. So anyway, as you're walking down right here, we're going to see, just watch this push counter here. At one point, so there's the first frame. As soon as a link hits this position, you gain one value on that push counter, and it's going to keep going up uh, by one for each frame. So we keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Now that it's at six, it's not going to get any higher than this. So if you're doing this trick the way I do it, where you kind of line up um, on the left side, and then you just hold down right, this would be the first frame where you would be able to pull out the shield and be okay. And if we keep going, we can see we have, I think, about eight frames uh, to do this. So this would be the first frame, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. So there's actually eleven frames. You can see I didn't lose that value. Uh, now it's back at zero until the eleventh frame of it being at six. If we go back here. Rock sat down, hold down right, while going left, or I'm sorry, while holding down right. So when you're doing this RTA, what I like to do is I either, um, I look for like Link's left half of his body here um, to like be in line with a rock, or you can actually just wait until Link starts this pushing animation. Um, from the time Link starts this animation until uh, you would go too far and lose that push counter, you have about eight frames from here. Um, so when you're doing this RTA, I find it easier to just like wait for Link to enter into this pushing position, and that's when you want to pull out shield. Uh, this whole time you're still holding down right, but now you want to pull out the shield, and if you continue to watch uh, doing that, my push counter stays, even though I'm no longer pushing anything. From this point, all you want to do is just keep holding down right, and now the important thing to pay attention to is this Y position. So you have two pixels that will work uh, in order to get like pushed down like we do in this trick. Um, those are 782 and 783. So you can see I'm at 766 now and I need to lose a little bit of height here. Or go lower down on the screen rather. So we're going to keep holding shield and down, down right. Um, for RTA, I'll show you the frame that I generally look for here. So we're holding down right, holding down right, holding down right. All right, 782. So here is the first frame where this will work. Um, you actually have a four frame window here because Link only moves down a Y position um, once every other frame when we're walking diagonally like this. Um, so the, the visual cue I go for is for uh, Link's shadow or the bottom of the shield there to be touching those two like brighter colored rocks that are right below him right now. Um, so I can show you those first frame, second frame, third frame, so we're now at 783, this will still work, and fourth frame, still at 783. That's the last possible um, frame that you can switch to Gush Jar and still have this work. So I like to look for Link's shadow or the bottom part of the shield starting to touch these brighter colored rocks. Um, once you see that happen, you want to let go of down, so you're just holding right, and press Gush Jar at the same time. And if you do that, Link pulls out the Gush Jar, 
Now we're able to move right, and our push counter is still at six. Um, if you were to try to do the downright walk with the gush jar, you wouldn't be able to maintain your push value. There's some weird uh, combination going on between holding the shield out and then switching to gush jar that allows us to both hold that push counter and be able to walk right to where we need. Uh, once you're in this position, you're set. All you have to do is hold shield and gush jar and just wait for this guy to turn back into a rock. As soon as that happens, you'll get flung down. Uh, just make sure you do not let go of right at any point until you've been, like, jumped off the cliff. Uh, that holding right there is what allows you to hold on to that push counter, and it keeps Link facing downward, which is what we need. So, again, in RCA, see Link push, shield at the bottom, uh, rather at the top of those rocks, gush jar right, and just like that, drop down. And then you can just do your out of bounds movement. Um... I didn't cover getting the Rock Beetle into position or any of the movement after this because, I mean, that's already covered by a few other people. I just wanted to kind of show um, my way of doing this and hopefully illustrate uh, why things might be going wrong for you. Uh, when you're practicing this, you definitely want to be viewing the Y position and this push counter here. Uh, you can see the addresses there. Um, so yeah. If you're, if you're practicing this, just have those two things in your RAM watch, and that way it'll be easier for you to tell why you're not getting it, either if your height is bad or if you are losing that push counter uh, because your inputs are mistimed. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Good luck, guys.